Hi, we're back with the Ian Lewis Garden Attack on Mistral Bates blog. I'm here tonight on a uh, social session with my mate Rick, and we're at the uh, Pit Free at Church Farm in the uh, Back Bay, a swim known as the uh, River Bay. Unfortunately, the carp were spawning earlier, but they're still. Uh, I still think there's every chance of a bite during the night off one of them, uh, maybe one of the male fish or something. But ever such a picturesque lake. Unfortunately, you can't see round the corner. It goes round to the left and uh, up that channel carries on up to another sort of three or four acres of lake, as does uh, up that channel. So. Uh, Fingers crossed, hopefully we'll be back later with um, some carp. Right, well, back, back with the old blog. Um, this is the rig I'm about to dispatch that's been uh, foamed up, ready to rock and roll. It's a new hybrid hook link we're uh, currently testing. Um, we've had really good results so far. Onto a uh, multi-clip, three ounce gravel coated lead. Uh, 45 pounds heavy plummet lead core and onto the 20 pounds um, hydro tough in the low vis green. I know there's a little gravel slope over there which has done me fish in the past and I'm going to uh, try and fish it on that. So uh, fingers crossed, here it goes. Felt down nicely onto a lovely piece of uh, gravel. That's probably just on the base of it, I would say. So uh, that will do for me. That's one rod done. Sure, in the uh, line is uh, well sunk. Right, this one I'm going to dispatch out to the islands. There's a nice flat gravel area just in uh, line with the uh, overhanging tree. So what I need to do is fall just short of that and feel it down. Another area that's done me bites in the past. Traps are set now. Rick's just got his first rod out and he's uh, about to get the second one out. Put one down the inside margin on a, again an area I caught the double row linear from many years ago, back in the day. And uh, one out up the channel to the left of the bush in a nice deep silt, uh, silty channel. A bit cleaner there though, not like the uh, other side. Nice tattooed legs as well, though. Once you've found the, uh, the angle for the boys to be fired at, hold your position. Like that, though. You're not looking to be mega accurate, but just sort of uh, in the area.
back with the uh, Ian Lewis Garden Attack on Mistral Bates blog. Um, night's passed. Um, it's now two minutes past eight in the morning. Unfortunately, I had an aborted take last night. I think it was uh, a group of fish traveling through and uh, picking up the line, giving me a bit of a take or a false take. Um, but they've been splashing about all through the night, really, you know, sort of spawning up and uh, we had a water temperature reading this morning of about 19, 20 degrees, so uh, that was first thing this morning, so immensely hot still. So uh, what I've done is I found a group of fish right over on the far bank over there, um, having, a, having a little bit of a morning feed up. So I've actually cast a lead onto the far bank and uh, attached a hook link and spooned it in into the sort of shadows on the right hand side so I'm fishing that all uh, locked up tight on the left hand side so uh, see the line pinging across the surface unlike my normal style of slack lining but um, I can't really give it to let it have too much line because there's uh, an overhanging tree line up to my right hand side and uh, an opening. I don't want it to make it too really. It might make the uh, fight a bit of a hairy one if it does uh, get that far. So uh, on it quick and uh, get pump it back towards us. Yeah, I'm my man, man, main man Ricky G on the coconut ice playing his first church farm back lake carp after a long wait the inside rod was the one that was away this fish has actually tore up and down the bay already but was unable to uh, get the camera oh just look at it to show you Nailed in the bottom lip on the uh, the new hybrid hook link we've been uh, testing. Happy days. Yeah. Well done, mate. Caught on the coconut ice and the rig we're sort of still testing, and it's obviously done the do. It incorporates uh, this time around. It's a size 10 mugger rather than the Continental, but because uh, it's not it's not so snaggy or weedy here. But what a stunning, stunning fish! I'd probably say. That it's probably one of the older strain that's in there not the first stocking but the second stocking but um rick's first fish from the uh, back lake of church farm so happy happy days on a difficult it's been a difficult session to be honest with you what with the fish spawning last night so nice right a little returner for the blog let a little bit of water in there just to give him a chance to have a bit of a rev bit of revival See if we can get him in. There he goes. Ta-da, mate. 